Heather Brent joining us live from the event at Deloso Family Farm. Hey there, Heather. I am just having way too much fun. Not only do they have you covered when it comes to bacon, but they got some really cool hogs, if you know what I mean. Check out this Batman replica bike. David, I got to have you come over here because I'm worried when I get off, I'm going to fall over. That's very stable. So you've replicated a ton of the Batman Batmobiles and different vehicles. As a hobby, yeah, we do it. We take some of them to charity events. My partner, Harold Tapley, and I, we are involved with doing these. So it's a lot of fun, especially the charity events. All right, let's talk about this one. It's super cool. It doesn't even have a kickstand, you said. It just kind of stays up on its own. Yeah, it's actually balanced. In the movie, uh, the, the, oh, car, the car wasn't balanced. And so what we did is we put uh, ballast in here, which is like a weight, 42 pounds, and we actually balanced the bike now. All right, very cool. You've even got a little go-kart Batmobile right here. Yeah, this one here was actually made in England, and then we had it uh, a golf cart body made or a chassis made for it, and it runs really cute. It's very cute. All right, and let's talk about the 89 over there. Yeah, that 89 is uh, Michael Keaton uh, replica, and I tried to make the interior as accurate as possible. It was wrapped in uh, carbon fiber, so it's got a very nice look to it, airbags in the front, and then... Um, it has machine guns. They're not on it now, but they're usually machine guns on the top there. All right, and David here said that when he first created this 89 Batmobile replica, he went to Walmart for milk and bread, and you got stuck there for quite a few hours. Yeah, everybody wants to look at it. I can't imagine why. Yeah. And everybody has a brother, a brother-in-law that's on their way. <laughs> that's right. what we hear. We've got one more over here that I would love to show you guys. How cool is this? And we have our very own... He loves Batman, but they call him Patman inside. Oh. Hey, Pat. Batman. <laughs> yeah. All right, how cool is this one? This one is really cool. It probably pushed me to the extent of what I could do. A buddy of mine named Rick helped me with the fiberglassing, and we had a chassis made by a local um, guy out here. Uh, it's just a crazy, crazy vehicle to try to build from scratch. And it is a scratch build. There's not anything on it that's from a car other than it has a 500 cubic inch Cadillac engine and that's an 8.9 liter. Okay, I love the detail too. Even if you look at the tires, you've got Army um, emblems on there. You're a veteran yourself from the Navy, so you've got those emblems on there. Uh, Marine. Yeah, we made it as a tribute to the military. We've taken it to a lot of military charity events. And so each one of the wheels has a different service. And then um, the, the other one is a tribute to um, 9-11 first responders. All right, these are absolutely amazing. You guys can bring your dad, anybody, friends out here to check them out at the Bacon Fest. Coming up a little later this hour, we're going to see if we can catch up with the pig races. You heard me right, <laughs> pig races. I might even get involved. <laughs> Those pigs better Crazy. run fast. All right, thanks, Heather. Thanks for that. When you go camping, you know you won't be eating.